Hey everyone, today we are reviewing photosynthesis. Hey guys, so I've got James with me. We played photosynthesis this week, and while it's fresh in our minds, I thought we'd review just a little bit like how the game plays, what you should expect. I don't know if you saw like ads for photosynthesis everywhere. Like I kept seeing it all over the place. Um, and I don't know, maybe some of them weren't even ads, it was just people like promoting it or sharing their games or whatever. But I just thought, you know what? I had no idea what the game actually was. I just knew it was trees. I mean, did the game play at all like what you kind of expected? I, it, it kind of did. I mean, I was expecting it to be a lot of strategy and there is a ton of strategy involved. Yeah, totally. And with that, that means I usually lose because I try and go off the rails with my strategy and that usually is where I fail. But in this one, um, yeah, it's, it's, it plays a little bit like I, like I was expecting to plant trees and that's what you do. But then that's about the gist of it from right there. Yeah, at, at, on one hand, I feel like I could give like a 10,000 foot description of, yeah, you're gonna grow trees and whoever like collects more sun, cause it's photosynthesis, whoever collects more sun, they're effectively gonna win. That's, and, and that would be pretty accurate. Like that is how the game is, but I couldn't really have described successfully how it actually works. <laughs> and, uh, we both lost pretty badly to our friend Danny. Yeah. Uh, we cheated against ourselves a little bit, but even then, um, she still beat us handily. It's totally, to totally dominated. And now that I saw how she did it too, I have a strategy for next time when we play, but I don't, I have a feeling everybody else is the same strategy, which with that being said, that's where I usually try and divert a little bit because everybody's going to be trying to go for the center square, except where we get the most points. Sure, yeah. So is there another way to get around getting without getting the center square to get more points. I, I really, well, okay, let's, let's talk about how the game actually plays. So everybody starts with a couple seeds, you know, just, well, actually they don't start with seeds out. They start with small trees. Small trees. Small trees out, um, well, somewhere on the outside. And they're, they're pretty, it's pretty attractive little cardstock things and so you you start and you you can't alternate taking turns i could actually like be a real jerk and uh i could put myself right there first turn and then the first turn you collect how much light or how much yeah how much light by this little tracker based off of well whether your tree was in line with the sun and not in the shade of a another tree including yours including yours so like in this case i would get two light points because i've got a small tree here and those are worth one and that's a small tree worth one and then james would get only one because i was a jerk and i put my tree right next to his the small trees uh block uh, sunlight up to one circle away which you can see right here i'm one circle away the second the second level trees the medium trees block two spots away and the the big trees block three spots away and it's really it's really really important to know that because i think in the end between me and you versus danny we ended up blocking our own trees more than she did for anything yeah she did a masterful job of carefully because you can okay another big component of the game is that the sun rotates so the next turn you know we would have put out trees and stuff uh using the sun points we got on the previous turn but then the sun moves and then we collect light again and so in this case i got one point uh, i got another point here that's two points and then james got one point and it only has shade of one and then he got another point because it's out you know it's past the shade right if this had been like this no you still would have no, yeah. no that's a tall street yeah, yeah. no and that would have blocked it this is blocking three spots away. So I would be blocking my own trees uh, with the shade right here. On the flip side, this gets you more energy anyway, or more light anyways, because this gets you three light. But you're always trying to, you know, get so, as much as you can. So this is a scenario where Danny, whether by intuition, whether by skill, um, I think it was beginner's savant, luck. <laughs> you know, she 
put herself like right there. And so she could grow with no threat. But me and James did exactly things like this and then kind of boxed ourselves into a corner uh, where we either upgraded and got more light and points. And ultimately your, your goal is to get to the biggest tree uh, each round you can have one thing grow to the next stage so seed to small tree small tree to medium tree medium tree to big tree well um, okay so you gotta be careful because you just said one thing can grow you can grow as many things as you want up but it, it, only yeah. the one on that circle once yeah each each space can only advance once per round um, and ultimately when you get let's say a big tree in the middle somewhere like that then you can go one step beyond the biggest and that's when you actually get points for it. So if, you know, and you know, and the sun's continuing to go around doing stuff like suns do. And at this point I could harvest, I, I call it harvest. They think they say consume or whatever. Uh, it's tree friendly here <laughs> <laughs> and we harvest that. And because this is a two leaf circle, I grab the highest point value disc from from that circle, and now somebody else can they can plant their tree in that same spot, and then they start the cycle anew. Um, this is the victory points. Ultimately, this is how you win the game. If you have leftover sun points, you do get like a little bit of extra points at the very end of the game, but for the most part, you get almost all of your victory points. I mean, look. The maximum victory points from Sun, leftover Sun, is six. I One feel like of these tokens is. I feel like that was added to be a tiebreaker. Yeah, like I, I if agree. you guys go back and forth between that one, there's you're gonna have someone's gonna have more Sun at the end than the other person. Yeah. Um, as the Sun goes around, and it hits back to the starting spot again, then you remove the Sun tile, and then the next time it rotates all the way around you you know move another one and then the last time game's over and that's that's the game I mean, it's really kind of it, it seems simple but i feel like it has aspects of like go like there's a lot of kind of uh tactical blocking because you like you can rush in you could you could rush in and say well you know i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna upgrade it to a small tree just so that i can get deeper even though I don't want that spot. Or maybe that's how you lose, because that's what we did. Well, it, what Danny did too was uh, her first tree she upgraded, she upgraded right here. Yeah. And her very next move was to put a seed two spots away, because based on the level of the tree is how far away you can put your seed. Yeah. So she got closer than we did on the first round, and she immediately got to center. I do feel too that um, there's a strategy of having like a big tree keeping it big long enough to put a bunch of because big trees can go three three away just like you just said and so you can put a bunch of seeds in tactical places then harvest the tree now the faster you harvest the higher the points that you get so the the highest point four is i don't know it's 20 22 points and then the second person is 21 points, and then the third person is like 20 points, and so on. So you want to be among the first to, to harvest, but when you do, you lose the sun points because a big tree gives you three sun points. You also right? lose the shade. And you lose the shade. Um, and that, I mean, a big tree casts so much shade. It really is devastating to the other players, um, and possibly yourself like we both did to ourselves. Um, the other important part to, to remember when we were playing this game, which it didn't feel like it came into play too much, but again, it was our first time. Um, if you have no empty spots when you buy um, a resource or when you trade a resource in, if there's no empty spot on your board for it to go to, it goes away. You lose that resource for the rest of the game. So what I was trying to do in my turns was to make sure I was buying these ones to make sure I had spots for these to go back to. But in doing that, it took me too long to do that and I lost the game immediately. So that's a very interesting component is that you start with a few trees being available. 
to plant or to upgrade, but you don't actually, um, like you can't just buy things off of your board. First, you have to pay for them. Like in, it, at first they're cheap and then they get progressively more expensive, but I could pay two power. Now I have a small tree that's available to plant in addition to the other four. Um, the, mostly the only point of doing that, if I already have a bunch of small trees available, is because when I upgrade this small tree, then that small tree goes back to the board. If I didn't, that's what he's talking about. It would just go back in the box. So it's, it's very interesting. You, first you have to pay for the tree just to be available. Then you have to pay to upgrade the tree through, this, through the life cycle, starting with the seed and then ever bigger. Um, it, it seems like kind of complex and it seems like, oh, there's gonna be too much stuff to remember, but actually it's all on the board and it's very straightforward. Everything is on the board. Yeah, you cannot, the board. you cannot get lost when you just look at the board. Like you can see each seed costs this much, each tree costs this much. Um, if you are planting seeds from a tree's distance, the distance it can go is listed on here, uh, down here. <clears throat> this tells you how much sun you get for each one, how many points you get if you harvest it. Everything, no, it doesn't. That's the, yeah, that's the sun. Wait. No, it's not. That's, not the, that's how much it costs. That's how much it costs to upgrade. Yes. So the only thing on it is not the sun. So it doesn't tell you that the small tree gives you one sun and it doesn't tell you that the, the largest tree gives you three sun. Um, but even that's pretty easy to remember, right? The smallest tree is the smallest, it gives you one. The second tree is the medium one, it gives you two. And the largest tree gives you three. Uh, it's not on the board. You can deductively you know, figure it out because the seed gives you zero. You know, it's under the ground, it's not giving you sun. But uh, yeah, so what did you think? Oh, I love the game, I just was terrible at it. <laughs> this is a game you have to, in my opinion, if you, if you suck at strategy games like I do, and I still love playing them, I think out of every game I've ever played with Rich, I've never won a single one, but I still love playing the strategy games because it's just, it's just fun. But uh, it's very, very strategy intensive. And the, the three things I was thinking of uh, when playing it is there's, there's three things you're tracking. You're, you're trying to see where everybody else is and block, theirs, block their, 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 their trees from getting sun. You're also trying to get as close to the center as you can, as fast as possible. And you're also trying to re, uh, manage your resources so that when you upgrade, you have stuff to do. So you're doing three things in your head at once. You're also trying to balance how quickly do you harvest your more valuable trees so that you always get the highest point value or alternatively you let somebody else get the highest point value but you get two point values because two of the smallest tiles is worth more than one of the biggest so really you can you could have a strategy of growing more than necessarily being the fastest but you have to balance it balance it really you do um, you let somebody get the biggest and it's probably okay as long as you get two but if they get a second one you're out. It's out. You're out. Uh, the one thing I did notice when we were playing was our first playthrough, we did have a little mess up. We skipped some spots that the sun was supposed to go to. And I believe that's the strategy I was heading towards was I was planting a bunch of small trees everywhere yeah. that I could. If I had more time um, during that game, I probably would have caught up. I still don't think I would have won, but I would have at least caught up. But again, it's, it's to me, the, strat the best strategy was to get to the center as fast as possible. I find it, that, that was one thing that sort of uh, didn't make sense to me at, at all, was that it's a hexagon. So there's these little notches in the, in the border, and that's where the sun can go. So the sun goes here, and then the sun goes here, and the sun goes here, and then the sun just skips all the way over there, and then it's there, and then it's here, and then it skips all the way over here. And it being a hexagon instead of an octagon, I found to be very confusing. Just for a little bit. And now I guess it's fine. Yeah, now that we see it there. Um, but it's just unusual. I think they they had to compromise. I, I would think when they originally designed the game, they were hoping they could actually design a hexagonal board instead of a square, and then they just made it fit. It just feels a little bit weird. Yeah, it does, it does a little bit. But with that, um, you can know starting the game 
you have 18 turns. Yeah. That's what you got. You have 18 turns to get as much as you can. After the 18th turn, that's when the sun makes its last revolution. The game is done. So you have 18 turns to get as fast, as much stuff as fast as possible. The, uh, there is an advanced mode, which I didn't really look at too much, but it has a fourth disc. So in that case, there's 24, okay. uh, 24 turns, um, which seems that could change the game. It changed the game for us. It yeah, really did. It did. Yeah, we we were thinking long term, and then it was really short because we we skipped two of the six uh, twice. Yeah, it was. But uh, yeah, it, it feels like a classic game. It feels like if you take away the trees and you kind of like take away the sun and everything, it feels like this could have been like a like an older, more rich strategy game but you happen to be using trees. And I like the colors they use for the trees too. Yep. Like, um, even just something simple, like you have those acorns. Yep. I'm envious of the acorns. I like the blue of the pine trees though. Like I, I do like the pine, it's, I don't know. It, it's trees guys. If you don't love trees, <laughs> there's something wrong with you. Um, yep, I like it. It's a cool game. So what was the best part? The best part was um, I like I like the shadows. <laughs> I, I really do. Say, I like the shadows. I like screwing everybody up. That's what I was like. Uh, yeah. It's I I kind of wish this was like an old battery based game or something where it would literally like highlight like light up or I guess in this case dim. Yeah. Wherever the shadows were. Man, I would I would pay a pretty penny for the upgraded platinum level Kickstarter edition <laughs> where these actually went dim when they're in shadow. It'd be beautiful, guys. Like uh, Blue Orange, I have never seen you make a game ever before in my life. So if you guys are new to the board game, you probably have been around for a long time. Yeah, just, I don't know. I don't know. But electronic digital version with light up little hexes that know if they're in shadow, it'd be magical. On that note, us not knowing who the creator was, a Blue Orange, we've never played a game from them before. And for our first game, this was an extremely fun game. Yeah, top notch game. Even if you lose. In the, the production material, it's great. This sun thing, it actually has like a notch, guys. Um, has a notch to help it to fit against the space and, and just kind of keeps it nice and tidy. They give you this, uh, this like it feel it originally started with cardstock and they gave these little things that you unfold and put inside to hold the four different player tokens. I love that because some of the other games we have that <laughs> I love that apart. I love they just they fall apart, things break, whatever. I feel good about this. On that note too, as you can see I took a tree apart. I don't know, it's, it might be hard to see, it might not be. You can see one side is straight and one is angled a little bit. So when you put it in there and you you hit that angle, that keeps that locked in place. It's yeah. not going anywhere. Well, it's, it's more friction. Yeah, okay. it, it might go somewhere. I mean, some of them aren't as good as the others, but some of the trees, it's a it's a smart design. This was all smartly designed. They, they did a really good job. Uh, everything seems like it has a purpose. I feel like the, the creators were sitting here with you know their idea and everything was good and they went to go move a tree and they're like, damn it, we're making that stick. Yeah. And that's exactly how they did it. Yep. Um, so what what rating would you give? Um, well, it's, it's, it, it was hard for me to give a rating. I would say probably an, an eight out of 10. Um, the only reason I'm saying it's losing points was just the initial playthrough was confusing. But if I played it again, I feel like I'd rank it higher. But the initial playthrough was it was a tad confusing. It was a little bit it was a little bit trying to get used to the rules. But after that, I, I was fun. I I feel like just a little play summary of what you can do. Do we have that somewhere? I don't want to give them negative marks if they're no. <laughs> if they're, it was provided. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like the little cards. I just like little cards that kind of tell me like these are the actions you can do. Um, but other than that, eight out of 10, yeah, this is a top notch game. It might be confusing. Like, the confusing makes people not want to learn how to play. That's the only problem. 
once they learn how to play, they're like, oh, this is easy. And they'll remember how to play yep. indefinitely. So yeah, uh, I feel like this would be easy to pull out. It's quick. That was the thing. It says 45 to 60 minutes. Sometimes games say that and it takes two hours. No, this is an this honest is, game. This one, I mean, it's because you don't, I mean, uh, you can take a little bit longer on turns than yeah. normal, but other games like, like Cthulhu Wars, if I was going to say that one, you have to sit there and think about what you're going to do. This one is, you know, it's pretty simple. You know what you, you're trying to get points. That's what you're trying to do. Yeah. All right. Um, good game. Definitely uh, give it a play. I... Mm, I, I do feel like some, some people who like strategy games might be thrown off because a lot of times strategy goes with war mm -hmm. and things like that. And in this case, um, this is going to be a little bit more family friendly, friendly strategy game. But, but don't let that deter you from it. This game, once we got down to the middle of the game, it was, how can I screw up? Total, total, Dang, how could I screw up? Yeah, Rich, you know, that's this what is was. totally a PvP game. There, <laughs> there's no doubt. Um, this is PvP against everybody else. It's possibly PvP against yourself. Uh, you can really screw yourself. <laughs> yep. Um, I had a turn um, near the end of the game. All my trees were out. I was, you know, I had uh, maybe I think six, seven sun, which was pretty good for the middle of the game. The very next turn, when the sun rotated, and I realized my mistake, I had zero energy that turn. So, I. Uh, I felt pretty bad. <laughs> I did it on purpose. I did it on purpose because I felt like I, would, I wouldn't I would be playing the game right if I saw that opportunity and I didn't take it. Um, but I felt bad. I did feel bad because it it's just a happy, friendly game about trees, guys. <laughs> and then suddenly, brutal. Like, and then you're in the garage, you know, fighting over a, why did you block my tree? I'm just... <laughs> No, but it was a, it was an, it was an enjoyable game. It really was. Yeah. All right. With that, guys, uh, that was our review of Photosynthesis. If you've played the game, post down below. If you have another game that you want, I mean, we have a we have about ten or twelve games ahead of us, I think. <laughs> but if you want to add to that list, then by all means. Uh, tell us which games that you want to add and next and it, week will be Cthulhu Wars. And if you buy the game for us, we'll put it at the very front. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Even if you mailed it to us and we mail it back. I don't know. <laughs> um, with that, bye guys.